So we are now delighted to bring you some more personal inspiration for all of you here at the main stage presentation. Uh, our next guest is the founder of the My Intent Project, Chris Pan. Now Chris is on a mission to be a catalyst for meaningful conversation and positive energy no matter what you do in life and business. After a successful business career, which included working as a McKinsey and Company consultant, marketing director at PepsiCo, and nearly five years working at Facebook, he took a break to travel. And as he reflected on what to do next, he kept asking myself, what does the world need more of? He was reading world headlines of bullying, personal anguish, catastrophes, and yet conversely was unfulfilled with stories from friends and acquaintances talking on social media about what they had for lunch. Big disconnect he was recognizing there. The marketer in him saw a need for emotional and spiritual fitness, simple things such as the practice of being present, of being grateful, of letting go, acceptance, and of course, finding purpose and meaning. And so began my intent. Now, as Chris will soon point out, this is not just a jewelry company, but an intentions project. He believes there is purpose within each of us. He encourages people to share truths to drive success by simply putting your word of intent on your bracelet or necklace as a positive daily reminder, as well as sparking immediate conversation and connections with others. The project has absolutely taken off with word spreading organically, including many celebrities such as Jay-Z to Rihanna to Katie Couric and Conan O'Brien proudly wearing bracelets. Kanye West, in fact, graced the cover of Time Magazine wearing his bracelet with the word beautify. Now, although it looks like a simple piece of jewelry, its magic is in connecting people with the power of their own intention. And now we bring this magic to the stage. Please welcome Chris Pan. Oh, thank you so much. Take it away. So Lisa, oh. just have one question for you. Yes. Um, and I'm going to make you a bracelet live. Oh, that, that, so, that's all you need to make me a bracelet? Yeah, we're going to do it live. Is that? Yeah, let's do it. <clears throat> so uh, what would your word be? What would you want to remind yourself every day? It has to have intent. Um, <laughs> oh, that's a hard one. I have a lot of words that... Um, that I, um, I would say, I would say action. Okay. Um, because for me, I feel that every individual has the power to be an influential force mm -hmm. in our world. So I would say action. Would, would you, would you say more about the action that you want to take or you want to remind yourself as I'm making this? <laughs> tell, tell us more about how you see this. But I'm supposed to be out. interviewing. <laughs> uh, no, I've really, uh, I've really tried in, in my work to produce. Um, positive change and to, to inspire people to think. Um, and I think right now, um, as we all know, there's so much discord in our world, in our country, and I feel like people are talking at each other and not to each other. There's so much bullying and harassment. And I just think that, um, or I have always wanted to just try and do my part to, um, to, to change that conversation and to promote people to um, help their fellow man or woman. So that's why I chose action. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Are you ready? Yes. All right, so close your eyes. So here, give me one of your wrists, whichever one you want to wear it up. Um, so think about, just internalize all that that you just shared with us about the action that you want to take. Take a deep breath. Breathe it in. And there you are. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. much for what you do. Thank you. All right. I'm going to go get crazy with Lisa backstage. Chris, take it away. Thank you <laughs> thank all. You. <laughs> all right. Good afternoon. It's really an honor and a privilege to be here. Um, so I'd love to help everyone here find your word, whatever that might be. So does that sound good? All right. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to get up off our seats. <laughs> Just going to do a simple stretch, all right? So some of you are ahead of the game, so up. All right, so we're going to go over this way. Take a deep breath in, back to the center. 
Big sigh out. How does that feel? Good? All right, one more time. All right, now let's, let's have some fun. You guys ready? All right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to start, because most of us live in our heads, and most of us hold a lot of stress on our shoulders, especially, you know, kind of hunched over across a laptop. So we're just going to just kind of move the shoulders a little bit. All right, doing well. Now we're going to start shaking the hands a little. We're going to start just shaking. There you go. You guys are amazing. Wow. All right, now we're just going to start waking up the body a little bit. There's a lot of wisdom that we hold in our bodies, so sometimes you don't get to get you know, to the masseuse that often because we're busy, but sometimes you can just do this. All right, so now we're just going to go down the sides. All right, now we're going to try something really fun. All right, we're going to go back up like this. Now, everyone face this way. Now, if there's someone in front of you, just put your hands on the shoulder of the person in front of you. Now, you're going to squeeze a little bit and just start. There you go. There you go. How's that feel? Are we feeling more positive yet? Should we just do this for the next 20 minutes? <laughs> All right, if you guys want to just chop a little bit, just give it some karate chops. Amazing. Those of you at the front, just relax. Just enjoy. There you go. All right, now everyone, hands back up. We're just going to turn back over and then drop your hands on the person in front. Return the favor. So start kneading a little bit. There you go. If you're not close to someone, make sure you, oh, it looks like everyone's all paired up. All right. If you want to start chopping, doing some little chops. All right. All right, give yourselves a big hand. So have a seat. You guys feeling a little better already? Um, I'm a fellow small business owner and I can relate, you know, everyone comes to you for all the problems, you're the one that has to make all the decisions. And so something as simple as just, just moving some energy around. Um, I'm going to take you through a little simple breathing exercise now uh, and we'll start to get centered and getting into your own truth. Um, so if you want to just kind of close your eyes. Now we're going to take a deep breath in through the nose. And hold that breath. All right, and then let it out through the mouth. All right, we're gonna one more time. Inhale through the nose and hold it. Big sigh out. One more time, in through the nose. Now we're going to do a big sigh out with a smile. There you go. Now keep your eyes closed. Um, yesterday morning, Brad uh, invited everyone to think about, you know, what are your values? What is your mission? You know, what does success look like? So now I'm going to create some time. We've had a couple busy days here. I'm just going to create a few minutes for you to just kind of let that all just soak in. And continue to just take some deep breaths in through the nose and then out through the mouth.
dreams. What is your dream? What does success look like? Personally, professionally? So when you're ready, just gently open your eyes. How was that? All right. <laughs> so we, uh, early on, um, made it very clear that this wasn't about just making jewelry, that this was about the meaningful conversations and the positive energy that I was craving, um, that a lot of my friends were craving. And so, We'd love to try some meaningful conversations here. Um, what I'm going to invite you to do is in a second, I'm going to have you pair up, and you're going to have a conversation with someone you don't know. So that's the key, is you're going to get in front of and pair up with someone you don't know. Um, and the ground rules for uh, being the listener is you're going to, it's only going to be for like a minute each question, is you're going to be inviting, um, just be open. You're going to be curious, acknowledge, uh, you're not going to interject with your own story, but you're really going to let the other person have some, you're going to hold space for the other person, and you're going to be supportive in the same way, you know, if you do partner stretching, you can only get, you can only stretch so far on your own, but if you have a good partner, you can get a little deeper. So in the same way, a good conversation, it's almost like going to a therapist, but, you know, you can go a little deeper that you may not even realize certain things about yourself. And so that's what we're going to uh, play with uh, in the next couple minutes. So if you will quickly stand up and find something, stand in front of someone that you don't know. Uh, I'll give you 15 seconds to do that, go. <laughs> so find someone you don't know and quickly have one person raise your hand as partner A. Whoever wants to be partner A, raise your hand. And if you don't have a partner, come into the aisle and then uh, the people in the aisle will find each other. So if you don't have a partner, come in the aisle. Partner A, raise your hand. So you guys have a look at these questions. So partner A is going to go first. So partner A, you're going to pick one of these questions and you're going to answer it in the next minute. And partner B, you're just going to hold space and be a good listener and explore what that really means. So I'm going to give you a minute. Um, pick one of the six questions and share with partner B. Go. Yeah, partner A, pick any question you want and share your answer with partner B. All right, 10 seconds left. We're going to bring that to a close. All right, so partner B, I want you to raise your hand. 
So Partner B, thank you for being a great listener. Now it's your turn. And the question for you is, how are you making a difference in this world? And Partner A, you get to be the listener now. You have a minute. Go. All right, 10 seconds left. All right, now we're gonna go back to partner A. So partner A, you ready? Where's partner A, there we go. So now the fun part is, if you were to choose a word and if I were able to come and make you a bracelet, what word would you choose? So partner A, uh, your turn to pick a word. And if you don't know, some of you might not know what your word would be. Uh, I would encourage you not to think of the word, but just say, hey, here's what I want to work on in my life. Here's what I want to bring into my life. Think about the biggest challenge you're facing and how you might overcome that. Or if there's something you know you want to spend more time on. Um, and just, just speak in sentences and somewhere along the way, the answer will come to you. So go. All right, 10 seconds. All right, so we're gonna switch now. So partner B, it's your turn to come up with your word and partner A is gonna be uh, the listener. So we're gonna switch. All right, so show of hands, how many of you have a word picked out that you think you're reasonably happy with? All right. And if you haven't, that's okay, because sometimes it takes a day or two or three and it'll come to you, but I think what's important is the, uh, the process. So if you guys will return back to your seat, we're just gonna wrap up with a couple of stories and... Uh, So I'm often asked, what are some of the more memorable words that I've received? And this was one of the first ones that I got. I was making this at a, a friend's uh, gathering, and a gentleman comes up and says, uh, would you make me one? I said, of course. Uh, he said, my word is 15, which is a bit unusual. I said, oh, what is that? This is a gentleman probably in his you know, 40s, 50s. Um, and he says, in January, I'll be sober for 15 years. 
I mean, that was one of the moments that I felt like, wow, this is actually something that, uh, you know, I can keep going with. Um, sometimes I, I wonder <laughs> about my career, <laughs> about just, I'm, I'm sitting around, you know, stamping metal for people, but, but there's a little bit more to it than that. <laughs> this one uh, I saw on social media um, a few months back. Uh, I chose stay alive because suicidal thoughts and actions are something I struggle with, but I choose to stay alive. Um, this bracelet is the only piece of jewelry I begged them to let me wear into surgery. It was made by X Country 12 as part of one of her fundraisers for Try for a Cure this summer, and I was worried they would make me cut it off. It says courage, and I know it won't stay on forever eventually. The string will wear down and it will fall off. However, I believe it will fall off as soon as the world thinks I no longer need it. I believe life wanted me to have it for this big surgery and to carry courage into the operating room with me, which I did like a boss. It was so nice to wake up and look down and see this word staring at me. Cancer requires a certain amount of faith, bravery, hope, and courage. Cancer is a jerk face, hashtag, <laughs> hashtag courage, hashtag double mastectomy, hashtag fuck cancer, hashtag stronger together, hashtag breast cancer. Um, Early on, we only made the bracelets, the finished pieces available, and about a year in, I pushed to have the kits available. And people were looking at me like, why would you do that? Why would you give away the magic sauce? And I said, we're not in the jewelry business. We're in the business of helping people have meaningful connections. And there's nothing more magical than being able to sit in front of someone, ask them their word, and actually making a piece for them. And so since we actually, and it, logistically, it was a a massive challenge, but we did it. And now we actually have kits available for people to you know, do it at their own gatherings, fundraisers. Um, these are our youngest makers. Uh, Kyan, she's on the right, she's 10. This is in Bali at the Green School. So she's been doing this for her classmates and using the proceeds uh, as a fundraiser. And so we've got people around the world that have these kits that are also doing it, uh, which makes me really happy. One of the more, uh, or I get asked, what is the most unique or different word that you probably didn't expect you would get? And this is courtesy of uh, Mr. Conan O'Brien, of course. Uh, I walk up to him and said, hey, uh, Conan, so uh, what's your word? And he's like, what do you mean? And you know, I kind of take him through it. And he says, can you put a phrase on there? And I said, huh? He said, does this matter on my deathbed? This is, that's what he originally wanted on his bracelet. I said, no, I don't think we can fit that, but how about deathbed? He's like, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, and he explained that a lot of the things that he stresses about Ultimately, it doesn't really matter. And this is one of the things I think about a lot too, as I, you know, as a small business owner, I have a lot of stresses and a lot of things going on. I'm like, you know, in the end, it probably doesn't matter. Um, and this is uh, one final story from his wife, Liza, actually. Uh, she wanted the word perhaps, and it's inspired by a Japanese fable. There was a farmer, he had a horse, the horse ran away. Neighbor said, oh, we're so sorry your horse ran away. And he says, well, perhaps. Next day, the horse comes back with two wild horses, and the neighbors are all like, oh, wow, that's great, congrats. And the farmer says, well, perhaps. Next day, the son uh, rides one of the wild horses out and ends up breaking a leg, and the neighbors are so sad and say, oh, I'm so, you know, we're so sorry. And the farmer goes, well, perhaps. Next day, the uh, army comes to try to recruit um, the son, to enlist the son, and uh, because of his broken leg, he uh, didn't end up having to um, get drafted. And then the neighbors are congratulating him, and the farmer says, well, perhaps. And this is something that I uh, have used as a reminder for myself when things are seemingly up or seemingly down, it's just a way for me to just stay kind of even and balanced. Um, you know, it's been such a privilege to ask you know, thousands and thousands of people for their word because it's been such a fun, uh, you know, experience in getting to know people as well as um, in hearing a lot of wisdom. And so I invite you, when you go back with your uh, team members, uh, with your clients, with your family members this holiday season, you know, take the conversation down a level, a little deeper, and just ask them, hey, if you were to pick a word, like, what would you choose or what's your dream? And, and kind of go there because I feel like in our everyday life, a lot of times we stay a little bit, you know, on the surface. And it's really amazing when we just take a little plunge um, down. Uh, would love to stay connected with everyone on social media. We're at my intent, hashtag my intent everywhere. Um, mostly Instagram, Facebook, lots of inspiring stories. And I'm very grateful for this opportunity to be here. Um, thank you so much.